PB Blaster, sponsor us, because we're out. I replace these janky ass nozzles. <laughs> these are fucking like quarter full, and none of them fucking square. <laughs> How's it going guys? It's another awesome day in Daily Shitty. The weather is crap and it's the middle of summer so it's kind of random because it's been the hottest it's been in California in the past week and now today is just whatever weather so. It's been a minute since I've actually worked on my car so finally gonna fix the car after the drift event. Um, I haven't driven this car in a month or so, a little bit over a month and now the awesome thing is my lock doesn't work. You stick the key in, it doesn't turn. So we had to earlier climb through my truck, take off my strut bar, take off my sub, just so I could open my car. And it took like an hour to do, so. Got a couple things I gotta do, so. Pulled off the front bumper because I, yet again, cracked my front lip. It, was, it held up all day at the drift event, but as soon as we get back to Daily City, it fucking cracks, so. Um, gonna figure out how to put that back together. Probably not today, but that's on the list. These front splitter bars that I bought are complete crap. I had to put a zip tie just to hold them together because it's sagging and drooping. They, they're like, they don't thread. Like that's, you're not supposed to be able to spin that. It's supposed to thread in. I don't know if you can see that on video, but this is like not sitting the flush with that. Like that's kind of crooked. So that's why that's broken. Gotta figure that out. I didn't even get a chance to trim this lip. That's how long it lasted. It didn't even trim it to fit, so. I don't know if I'm gonna like plastic weld it or something, get it fixed, um, or just buy another one. They're really cheap, so I don't know. We will see, but next thing on the list is just go over the car, make sure I figure out everything that's broken because, I don't know, it felt like my wheels were gonna fall off, so. I want to check, make sure my angle kit's still good. I know the motor mounts are shot, but I don't think I'll be doing that today. That's like a whole day project. I just found this gas leak right here from my Z32 fuel filter. So, can't see it on camera, but down there the bottom line is leaking a little bit. So, I'm gonna tighten that back up. Still gotta put the trunk back together. I ordered new tires, because these ones are done. I kind of want to tighten up the fitment because when we installed the angle kit it had a lot of camber so I just want to bring this out a little bit and get it a bit more flush with the fender. I might even throw on a spacer in the rear because we pulled this so now there's a gap in here but I want that that tight fitment so we'll see what happens. Um, but overall today I just want to figure out everything that's wrong with the car, go over it and preemptively figure out what I gotta buy so I can get this car back and running. Because I really miss driving this car, like, it's been a month and a half and I haven't driven it anywhere since the drift event. Um, driving back from the drift event, I knew the tires were bald, I was just hoping we could make it home just because it's so far. And the brakes were having issues because, from what I think, the when I had the angle kit, my tires would rub on the brake line. So those are fucked up, but we're throwing on the Brimbos anyways, so I don't mind. But when I would dab on the brake, it would pull the car to the right really hard. So. I know that's fucked, but that's not a plan for today. The Brembos are another episode, which you guys will see. Um, so yeah, just basically going over the car. Anthony's working on his car, and it's a big 240 day. Upon initial inspection, these tires are fucked. These lasted me one event. These are, these are brand new, and they lasted me one event. So definitely got to take care of my alignment. I don't want to run as much camber, so I'm gonna adjust that today. Um, but look at that. This is like brand new on this side, and then this is just fucked. It's crazy. Um, so, I'm gonna try and do like a self-alignment. Obviously, I'm gonna get a real alignment. So that's how these tires lasted, the brand new Nankings. <clears throat> Down here, on the brake line, you can obviously it got chewed up from going at full lock. It is like fucked. It's not leaking, surprisingly. It looks like it just got the rubber coating, but if I just like stayed on it more that day, would have been bad so thankfully swapping this whole setup out I got brand new stainless steel lines for the Brembos and I got the Brembos in the garage so should be fine looking for any other signs of damage down here I know I rub over here which is why I had to raise the car slightly had to hammer this out at the track because it was it was chewing through a lot so I might hammer that a little bit more now that I have time and um, I gotta adjust the other side to the same length, or the same height I should say, because this side 
is solid. I wasn't binding, but the other side kept like falling off. So I'll definitely check the coilover, make sure it's solid. Um, I'm gonna check all these bolts for the angle kit because it seemed pretty sketch, but yeah. I had to break out the torch and hammer it up. It actually helped a lot. I was able to like soften the metal and like hit it way up. So now there's a lot of clearance. This part was like hanging down here before, so you can see the difference in height. Maybe right about there. Um, not gonna exaggerate, but anyways, I had to cut a little bit just because this part was bending out this way and then that part was bending in. So I had to cut it just so I could release the pressure there and then I could hit it up without um, having to like work through a knot basically. But not too bad. Time to do it to the other side. And what do you know, this side got fucked up even worse. This is, I think, the one that was sketching me out because my fender was like chewing right through this. If you can see, this is all like the sidewall getting chewed up. That is really bad. That's like, which is why I'm swapping tires. Also, the angle kit gave me so much angle that it rubbed the inside of my wheel. And you can see it's like clearly hitting something because the whole rim of it is fucked as well as this inside part is all just curved up so that's why we're gonna take a look at that as you guys can see this side spun all the way down all these are loose so I need to tighten all those which is probably why I was binding I tried to tighten at the track that during the drift day but I guess they came loose again so like I said I'm gonna go over everything um, I also got the car on jack stands I don't recommend, I highly, highly, highly do not recommend jacking up a car on a hill like this because it's very dangerous, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So, um, got the jack stands under. I also have the jack just in case. Probably gonna put some tires under there because um, I'm gonna do some cleaning under there because as you can see, there's some spots. Um, I need to figure out where they're coming from, but I'm gonna hammer this out now. And now that that's all done, Time to work on cleaning the underside of the car. I was able to find a technique that worked really well. Like I hammered it a lot and then I started just grabbing onto it with the vice grips and it just made it a million times easier. You just heat it up, bend it up, and then it got it up that high and then all I had to do was just hammer a little bit instead of hammering it all the way up to get it to that point because my wrist started hurting so there had to be a better way and there was. So that's a nice little trick. If you can see right here, that's like worn off, and then right down there is where it's worn off. So I'm assuming once I was at full lock, the inside of my wheel was clipping right here, which is why there's that gash on the inside of the barrel, and then right there is where it's clipping on the outside of the barrel. So mystery solved. I'm probably going to have to remove that bracket and probably run the brake line somewhere else. And this should no longer chew through my tire. So I get more life. Now I'm just going to clean all this up because this is all caked in crap and it's all brand new. I want to make it look good. Still got to adjust the coilovers and I'll probably adjust the camber so it's not as dramatic. Throw on spacers in the rear. Look at all that crud though. It's fucking caked on there. Jesus. Figure out where it's leaking and we'll go from there. Remember I said I wanted to check all the bolts because my car fell a little bit off? Well, I think that's probably part of the problem right there. There's no nuts on the bottom of this. Somewhere along the line they fell out. So this is just completely unattached. I just sprayed everything down with brake clean and wiped it off. Surprisingly, there's a lot of like gunk and buildup that just got on there from the last drift event, surprisingly. So, um, just clean everything up. Now, I still gotta search for the leak, but we gotta head to Ace so I can get some nuts for the bottom of that front tension arm. Made it back from Ace. I already swapped out the bolts and the nuts so they're all tight now I'm solid car should be good I made sure to like run it didn't see any leaks coming from the bottom so car should be solid now I took off the bracket for the brake it's definitely hitting on the bracket itself and the line so I just took off the bracket and bent it up so it's out of the way I don't think I captured it on video already but here is the car with full angle unbinded Boom. Look at that. So much angle. All that angle. You can see? No longer hits. It used to hit. What? And rub on this. You're not using the 12 grade? No, not using anything. It gets so close to hitting right there. I don't know if you can see my fingers. 
there's like a finger gap in between the wheel and the front angle tension rod. And that's why they make it that way. So that your wheel can just tuck in right here and not hit. Um, yeah, it, it, it doesn't hit this either. It's literally a finger gap. It doesn't touch the brake line. Brake line's clearly out of the way now. I'm so happy. And everything's fully tight. Just did the tote so that I got a proper alignment. Still gotta get a real one from like an actual shop, but for an eyeball alignment's pretty good. Hey, car's aligned, just test drove it. Car is great. No more random vibration, no more leaks, no more brake pulsing, no more binding. I just slid one turn and it, it did great. Did completely fine, no binding or anything. So I'm super satisfied. It took me all day to do it. Now I just gotta bust out and finish Anthony's car. We're losing light, so we're just gonna knock it out. I'm not gonna vlog it. We already did an episode on PBM coils and plug install, so go check those out. As well as subscribe, comment down below talk about how stupid my car is and how not broken it is. I'm excited to drive it again. And yeah, that's gonna be it. That's a wrap, guys. Peace out. <laughs>